ericmoadithmother.com. Let's take a look at Tesla to see whether we can learn something from this chart as we go forward. We can see that today, at some point, the stock was up about 19 points. Since then, it's given back most of its gains for the day. Right now, it's only up plus 5 points. So, there's been a, an erosion of about 14 points over the last couple of trading hours here as we go through the midday. So, it looks like probably here we are starting to see signs of a weakness because number one, it is failing to hold above the recent daily closing high. And so the breakout here on a daily basis is failing. The level there that the stock needed to hold above was 238.32, which is a recent daily closing high there. We also failed to move and stay and hold above the 2000 December 2015 closing high on a daily basis. So that is at 240.01. So we can conclude here that simply if the stock is to do well in the current market environment, it needs to be above those two daily closing highs. Either the daily closing high from about a week ago at 238.30 or above December's daily closing high. So right now we did move above that intraday, but we are back below that which is net net a sign of a stock that is losing momentum. In fact, if you take a look at the hourly chart, you can see negative divergence because we've made a slight higher high in price. And yet, as of right now, we can take a look at the RSI, which has not moved above 61.8. This type of negative divergence is the worst type of negative divergence suggesting that we shouldn't be too surprised now that the next move for the stock short term is lower. In fact, if you take a look at the weekly chart, there is also some slight evidence here that the stock could stall. If you go back to the highs here, you'll find that there was a break in the RSI somewhere around it here. So if we draw this break point off this high that brought the stock off the levels there, you can see that this is where it is coming back to test that threshold. As you can see, we draw the line just about there. You can see the red line has been a problem. Every time we move below the red line, we stall. Here was resistance on the red line. We stalled at that point. We came close here. We stalled. And now we are coming here. And potentially, potentially, we could be setting up to form a double top, which would suggest that around here, is where one can expect also the weekly chart to show resistance. So if the bulls want to take control of this and move it higher, then clearly we need to move above the daily closing highs of 238 and 240. And we also need to see that the weekly chart clears this red line. So for now, we can study this and see what plays out because it shows that right now on the daily and also on the hourly, especially on the hourly with the negative divergence, where we made a slight higher high and a lower low on the RSI and we failed to move above 61.8. This being the worst type of negative divergence, let's watch this to see whether we can see that net net, maybe it is predicting that short term, the stock is poised for a pullback. Eric Mwadid, mother.com as always, good luck, peace and blessings. E, a C, S, mwah.